It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of 1 Samuel chapters 15 and 16. God chose a man named Saul to be the king of Israel until one day when Saul disobeyed clear directions from God. God sent Samuel, God's messenger to Saul. Samuel told Saul to attack a group of people called the Amalekites. God said very clearly to destroy everything and leave nothing. But when Saul and the Israelites fought against the Amalekites, they destroyed almost everything and kept some things. They took the best animals and Agag, the Amalekite king. This meant that Saul did not obey God. This was really bad. God needed to know Saul, the one God chose as king, would listen and obey. And Saul chose not to. Because Saul did not listen and obey God's clear directions, Saul would no longer be king. This left the Israelites without a king. Being without a king was a weak place to be. But God was with the Israelites and was already on it. God sent Samuel to a man named Jesse. One of Jesse's sons would be the next king of Israel. Jesse brought out seven of his sons, but none were the one. Samuel asked if there were any more sons, and there were. Jesse's youngest son, David, was taking care of the sheep. When David came, God told Samuel to put oil on David's head and anoint him as king. From that moment on, God's spirit was powerful with David. David may have seemed like the weakest of his brothers, but he was the one God chose to be the next king. God was with David, the smallest son of Jesse. God was with the Israelites when they had no chosen king. And God is with us too. Whether you feel weak, like the problems are too big, or like you can't handle things, come to God and say, God, you're with me when I feel weak.